Hey everybody, it's me, the Werewolf, and I got this package here today that I'll be unboxing for you. And probably you might know what this item is, just looking at the title. But I got with me here today this package from Nintendo of America. It's called Nintendo Reward, okay? So I'm just going to open it up, even though I've already opened it, just to see what it was, what I thought it was. And it was what I thought it was, in which I have here the Platinum Reward for one of the Platinum Rewards you could have got this year for Club Nintendo. This is the one that I picked. This is called the Platinum Playing Cards Mario. Which actually, an interesting fact is that Nintendo actually started off as a card company, but they did not make just normal cards like this. They made, um... A uh, type of train of playing cards called Hanafuda cards in Japan. So let's get this open up here. You're opening this. We're taking a look at these awesome looking cards. Now, these cards are pretty awesome. We will be looking through all of the cards, but I'm trying to get this tape off of it so I can see more about it. They look pretty cool. Well, here's just one of them I got. This is a Joker Bowser card. Which you can see, they are see-through. That's pretty cool. They're kind of like plastic, flimsy, see-through cards. Which I find that's pretty cool. But we already know now that Bowser is on the Joker card. So, since that's got all of that, we'll look through at these at order. So, first off, we got typical mushroom here on the ace card We're looking just through all of them and then just your basics all your basics has just got the mushrooms for the aces with the with the spades you have the mushrooms actually and then they have just the numbers of the spades on here like any other uh, normal playing card would have like since I have a second pack of cards that's why I have these second pack of cards they typically would look like your normal playing card. But on the Jack card, they have Luigi. On every Jack card, there is a Luigi. From what I've seen so far. Unless if they threw it up like how they did with the Animal Crossing Wild World cards. And on the Queen card, of course, is Princess Peach. The next card, we got the King Mario. Mario! And for the hearts, there are actually, what I find interesting is that on these cards, they have a one-up mushroom and red cards. And the next card is we have the Jack of Hearts, which has a different pose of Luigi, as you can see. Which Luigi looks more happier, because he's a mama. Mama Luigi to you, Mario. <laughs> And there's a different one for Peach, too. And a different one for Mario. Mario. <laughs> and then for these um, club cards, there are Fire Flowers. Fire Flowers. Is there any typical Fire Flower cards? Any typical cards? A different one. A different Luigi pose. Different Peach pose. Kind of looks like how she is. looks on the stained glass windows in Super Mario 64. If you ever played Super Mario 64. And different Mario. And then you have these, which are the diamond cards, which have coins on them. Coins. Speaking of that, um, if you played um, Super Mario Bros. New Super Mario Bros. 2, and you've probably not heard, um, we, there's 300 billion coins that are already been collected in that game, which I find that's pretty interesting. And a different Luigi card, a different Luigi pose. A generic smile peach card. I think the pink on the lipstick kind of looks kind of off. <laughs> and Mario, another Mario. And like I said, these are transparent on the back, and they have these. Golden Mario emblem on them. This is one of the many platinum rewards you could have got. 
you could have picked out. There were um, a bunch of choices in which you could have picked from. Um, you could have picked from like the generic calendar again. Because they always like having generic calendars. Generic Nintendo characters for uh, anybody who made it to gold, gold status. But, I had to show something. Now, the comparison between the previous figure that I've been in Club Nintendo, I'd say this is probably the coolest gift. Probably. Because this here is what the first gift was I got. This is like 2010's Platinum Reward. Which was figures, which I thought that was a pretty cool one. Because got Bowser there, and the Goomba, and Mario, and Peach. And then these, last year's reward, in which I have not done nothing with. These pins. See? Worthless pins are worthless, and you haven't used them yet. Then we have these awesome, clear, playing cards. So, if you're playing any Nintendo games, um... And if you're not a member of Club Nintendo, I highly suggest that you should join Club Nintendo. Um, each club year begins in July 1st and ends in June. And then whenever June comes around, like the end of June, 1st of July, when the new year begins, they have rewards for their platinum and gold members. And gold members, like I've been saying, um, you get the generic... Nintendo artwork calendar, but if you're like me and get platinum, you get something cool, like the something along the lines of this or this, which these are the cool ones, and not them pins, because them pins, are, I still have not used them, their full potential, <laughs> which I don't know, these playing cards are probably too pretty to play with. <laughs> It'll basically be sticking to with these Coca-Cola bicycle cards. <laughs> but that's been enough for this episode for this unboxing episode. So I will see you uh, tomorrow morning for um, another episode of Bad Angry Bird Star Wars in which we start the Death Star levels. And later on tomorrow for a new Let's Mess Around on the Pokemon Dream World. So this has been the Orwolf. Signing off, and bye. Take care.